वेलकम टू पैंटकी लैंड थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग आवर वीडियो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंडली क्लिक ऑन द लाइक बटन एंड शेयर द वीडियो टू योर फ्रेंड्स डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग इट इज नथिंग बट कन्वर्टिंग वन सॉर्ट ऑफ इमेज इनटू अनदर सो व्हाट एवर द इमेजेस व्हिच वी हैव लर्नड आई मीन व्हिच वी हैव सीन इन आवर ओल्डन डेज इट इज नॉन एज कंप्लीटली एनालॉग इमेजेस so this particular analog image which we take in that uh, particular normal camera we will be taking into the film and that film will be converted into the photo sheet which is kept inside the dark room now whatever we are using it is the digital type let it be our phone or let it be the digital type camera so therefore we will taking uh, we will be taking that particular click and therefore that particular click whatever we apply it will be converted into the bytes so this particular image whatever we are using inside the digital cameras everything there are some sort of process because a real time it is being captured into the image and we are also obtaining it in the form of same color so that's nothing but known as the process function uh, where this particular process is obtained means for hardware purpose okay so other than hardware where and all this particular uh, application is done means some of the software sections like a web page or we can go for uh, background image background inside uh, any of the sections or providing the watermark for any of the softwares and also we can say uh, some of the trending such as machine learning and deep learning so there these kinds of sections are all uh, we can use for this image processing okay so for this we have to do some of the techniques and for that particular thing only here we have introduced the matlab tool therefore this process is known as digital processing techniques for manipulating the digital images from one form to another form what are the technologies used for uh, image processing means enhancement section denoising segmentation compression steganography watermarking image retrieval recognition and fusion so by using this kind of particular sections here we will be able to interact with each and, each and every function so in upcoming lessons we will be seeing this kind of each and every simple simple functions as our complete requirement what are the different types of images available color image gray scale image and binary image so this color image it is nothing but whatever we are currently being used and that particular color image can be said as three planes rgb red green and blue combination of these three colors only it is commonly said as color image over here therefore if we go for that particular gray scale image means it can be said as variation of 0 to 255 where zero is black and 255 is white so in between that particular range it is known as the gray picture the same thing if you are going with the binary image means it has only two options zero and one so com combination of zero and one it is known as some sorts of mapping which is mostly used for segmentation purpose or conversion purpose and therefore that particular segmentation can be called as binary segmentation so these are the examples for three types of image the color gray scale and binary what are the different types of uh, file formats available for images like jpeg gif tiff png jpg 2000 and now let us uh, try how to get input of uh, this particular image and also how to display that particular image so now get back to the matlab so here i am going to provide a variable a equal to im read im read it is nothing but known as image reading so within bracket i am providing that particular file name so the file name uh, here i can take it as 1.jpg and therefore the next thing i have to display that particular image i am show within bracket the respective file name okay so this is nothing but to read as well as display the image so this is the basic function so here uh, to display that particular image i must have an image inside this folder so what i am going to do means i am just uh, going to download an image from google any one beautiful image i am going to take yeah so i hope i like this so i am going to save the image in the same path i'm going to save it as the same name yeah therefore the image has been saved and here i am going to provide as ir okay so finally we have just read that particular image and we have been able to display it okay so this is nothing but known as reading as well as displaying that particular image now before going to that particular kinds of image process we require some of the basic programmings so on that basic programming we are going to start with 
some of the basic sections known as if condition else condition loop so this kind of uh, some basic requirements are there so first let us start with if condition so this is just a basic practice so here i am go directly going to type that particular values a equal to 5 and b equal to 6 if a greater than b display a is greater okay else dsp within bracket b is greater so now if i run this particular code so here i have to provide an option known as end that is the basic of the syntax okay so this is nothing but the different syntax while compared to the other programming that's why i have started with this because after reading that image for some of the sections we have to use this if condition and for loop and that time uh, uh, it will be thinking it as new so here there is no need of providing this uh, particular brackets or braces over here the same thing after that particular call and whatever we provide it will be indenting according to the particular program so that is most important part inside this particular functions and for each and every conditions or the loop end function is must because once the end function is provided then only the particular execution of the condition gets ended over there else it will be throwing out an error like this now similarly let us look for the other sections like else if section so else if is another one part else if a double equal to b dsp both are equal okay i have to change the input value so now i am running it therefore it has been satisfied that particular condition so this is the most of the functions we will be using and i hope uh, this particular functions uh, will be using for your task also now let us back, get back to the thank you for watching our video if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel Thank you.